Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today's episode, we're gonna be talking about motivation. I'm just gonna straight out go out and say it. <laughs> um, but honestly, um, the reason I'm gonna be talking about motivation today is, uh, I'm gonna, first of all, let's go through the reasons why we're gonna be talking about motivation. First of all, shout out to John out there. He literally told me the other day, hey, you know, you haven't made any one of your uh, motivational videos in a while, so, you should make one. I'm like, all right, bam. And then I also got um, a few comments um, in my videos literally saying, oh, I wish I could do what you're doing and so on and so forth. And it's, you know, things along that line, along those lines. And so again, this is all part of that too, part of the motivation thing. So that's why we're doing what we're doing today. And then lastly, um, honestly, because, um, I needed to motivate myself because fuck man, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last thing I wanted to do was come out today and do this because I'm, I'm tired as fuck. You know? I mean, not tired, but I don't know. I just wasn't motivated enough to go to the center and take care of the things that I gotta go take care of right now. Really, that's it. And I'm making a video. I'm always motivated to do shit like that. Well, anyways, you know what I'm saying. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. It's uh, I think like roughly three o'clock, give or take. Let me see, it's 3 p.m. And uh, I was waiting for a little bit of the sun to go down, as you guys can see. Most of the sun's going down. Also, I'm gonna take a different route, all right? This time we're gonna take a different route so that that way you guys can enjoy, you know, um, the sights a little more and try to see things a little differently as opposed to always seeing the same thing all the time. Um, for all you old viewers out there, for all you new viewers, well, you got new stuff, you know? So, I guess uh, let's start with the motivational aspect of all this. Well, for me, the whole motivation thing, it literally just comes down to, you know, options, you know, meaning, you know, just weighing out my options, meaning like, when I don't want to do something, I literally just ask myself, well, what are the consequences of me not doing this? And usually, after I ask myself that question, that is enough for me to, all of a sudden, you know, go on, go up and do it, no matter what it is, for the most part. Or let's just say what, let's just say when it comes to losing weight, um, or something along the lines of that, like a goal, something you might want. It's like again, if if you if I don't do what I need to do right now, um, so on and so forth, how is it going to affect me? You know, um, negatively, positively, so on and so forth. That's one way. Um, but honestly, to tell you the truth, the biggest motivator, period, in the story, is to just do it. Is to just do it. I mean, I don't know how else to really explain it, but that's basically it. You just got to go do it. And so that's 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 it right now. So this is also part of. Um, the video in the sense that even even as I was uh, getting up to go do what I have to do right now I myself um, you know got to the point where it's just like fuck bro you just gotta go do it and this is where I'm at now so I started walking I turned on the camera and then I'm doing it so here I am and you know every time that I do finally do it go out I am Within a few minutes, within a few seconds, I am reminded and, and uh, as to to why I did it, you know, to why I did it. So, for example, like, sure, it's hot as fucking balls right now out here. It is. It's fucking death. The, the heat is death. But the positive is that I'm out here getting some exercise. I'm looking at some beautiful, you know, sights. Um, it's actually pretty windy, it's not so bad. Um, I'm, I get to do this video for you guys. Um, I'm showing you guys around, so I'm just, you know, just going with, with all the positives of doing it. Now, let's go through the negatives of me not doing this. I would have stayed home, gotten lazier, um, been, would have been sitting down more than standing up, therefore fucking up my back. I'd probably be eating some fucking potato chips, getting fucking fat. Um, 
and unhealthy. Um, not really doing anything productive because honestly, I've been working like nonstop the last several days, editing a bunch of videos. So really like, that's also why I was procrastinating on leaving the house today. Because I was like, well, no, I'm not gonna fucking leave until I actually get this shit done. And I got it done. So now I got everything done. In fact, I got my, my docket pretty clean for the most part. You know, uh, just this one major project I gotta work on. But, you know, for the most part, by the way, look, this guy's not a bum. He's just sleeping on the bench. He probably, you know, you could do that here. You could just fucking sleep. It's not, no one's gonna fucking bother you. People sleep on the back of their trucks all the time and shit. Because they're working and they're fucking laborers and they're tired and they're just taking a fucking nap. I don't know when I don't know when taking an apple is illegal, but whatever. Anyways, not here. <laughs> so what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, you know, like uh, you know, obviously I don't have to fucking go here and name all the negatives. It's a lot of traffic. Look at this. So let's Paseo Montejo that way. We're gonna be going this way, okay? Usually we go that way, but I gotta go down this way anyway, so I might as well just show you. We need to cross here. I'm trying to see if I can reduce the shaking in the videos as much as possible. That's why I'm kind of putting my camera in front of my face. Um, if I do strap it to my head, I'm gonna see if I can do some new software thingy that I found to see if I can reduce that as well. Just looking out for all our best interest. Actually, when I look back at the videos, it fucking gives me a headache too sometimes, so I apologize ahead of time. All right, so at the end of the day, you know, if you really just start, you know, doing a quick list of like negatives and positives and so on and so forth, you know, it's pretty self-motivating enough. You know, I mean, the thing is, it's a little hard for me to to talk about motivation sometimes because I'm very self-motivated I always have been now maybe it was something that was instilled in me maybe it's just something about who I am and what I am and all that good stuff but for the most part um, I mean I've, I've, I've been through those situations as well where it's, it's hard to, to motivate oneself and all that good stuff but I don't know man I, I most of the time really like just the motivation itself is just uh just fucking doing it man just just doing it there's no i don't know i, I think i think really what motivates a lot of people what people what finally gets people to get motivated enough to do something is is something as simple as fucking hitting rock bottom whatever that rock bottom is and um just safe safe all right see i've not been down that street uh, I'll do that next time. Let's go down this way. Look, there's like a chef school right here. Cool, right? So, you know, it's just fucking motivation, man. Because look, I, I don't know. I, I think the th I, it's really, it's weird, man. Because I feel like I'm on the spot here having to talk about a subject. You see, this is why a lot of times I just create something and just go with, you know, just fucking do it. Put on my shoes and do it. Because the more you think about something... You know what? How about this? Let's talk about this. Because this is the enemy of doing shit. The enemy of motivation is thinking too fucking much. Thinking too much. When you think too much... Oh, yeah. I think I've been, we've been through here. Eh, fuck it. Whatever. No, maybe not. Anyways. When you think too much, that is literally what kills, what kills motivation. What kills you from doing something. And so on and so forth. Because... That's why a lot of times, you know, the only advice I can really give you is just to go fucking do it. Because if you just fucking do it, you're not really, you're not thinking about it. You, you never even had a chance to even thought to think about it. You know, by the time you're thinking about it, you're in the middle of doing it. And at that point, you're not thinking about not doing it. You're thinking about, oh shit, how do I do this? Because we're rolling. <laughs> you follow me? That kind of mentality. But, you know, as I'm saying that, like I do realize that in order to have that kind of mentality, you're going to have balls. Or, and you know whatever the woman version of that is you know uh, ovaries and shit like, like for example and my fucking nose is bothering the fuck out of me because again the hot and humanness is uh, that's how I know it's extra human because uh, my allergies start acting up and again you know um, I don't even look away from the cameras I'm fucking picking my nose that's probably because I'm a pig but regardless it's all part of that you know what I mean it's just not it's getting over that <laughs> that hump that idea of 
what people give up, you know, if, when people, you know, uh, of what people think, you know what I mean? You know, I guess, yeah, like Gary Vee says, you know what I mean? It's like, you really gotta stop think, caring about what people think. And look, how about this? Before I made my first YouTube videos, I was always thinking about, it's this way, right? Yeah, fuck it, we'll find out together. Sorry, sorry, I just wanna make sure I'm going the right way, okay. So, hold on a second, guys. So let me take care of this nose situation. I think we're back. Um, see, I completely lost track of what I was saying. It was um, talking about... See, I wish I had the chat so you guys could remind me, right? All right, let me get through these people. I'll see if I can remember in a second. So yeah, I have not, I have not been through here at all. It is all brand new out here. I think I have stumbled down the street at night drunk going the other way. But uh anyways, we're gonna keep this perspective for a while, alright? Um oh yeah, yeah, okay, so it's about caring about what people think in that whole fucking deal. So when I, before I first ever put any kind of videos up, you know, any vlogging, any anything like years ago, you know, that that was a major problem, you know. Uh, I was worried about what people were going to think. I was worried about what people this, what people that. And you know how I, I got over that? How I started getting over that? First of all, when I realized that nobody's watching. When you put something out there and you put your heart and soul into that and you only get like 10 views or whatever the hell, you know, um, you quickly realize that nobody gives a fuck. And if you really fucking look at the at the analytics you see that you might have gotten 10 views but nobody was even fucking viewing it you, you know what i'm saying that kind of shit you know so you know you start quickly realizing that nobody gives a fuck and so that that starts giving you a little one way or the other that can go two ways that can go two ways you know way number one which actually happens to a lot of people is when they realize that nobody is listening or watching then they just give up but some people that are fucking insane like me, what we fucking do is that when something like that happens in a weird way, it's like, well, okay, well, nobody's fucking watching. So that means I can do whatever the fuck I want and not care as much. So then that's what I ended up doing. Um, and that's what I was doing for a while. But then when I started doing all this crypto stuff and doing all this other, you know, more heart to heart and, uh, you know, just really being myself on camera, how I really was able to do that and be, you know, be <clears throat> who I am today doing what I'm doing was because I hit rock bottom, like really crazy rock bottom. And uh, I didn't have anything else. I didn't have anything else really to look forward to in a weird way. Um, I had no nothing else, no life, no nothing. It was like rock bottom. And one of the things that helped me get out of rock bottom was doing these videos. And then, you know, the community that I built um with you guys you know i'm um, just throughout the, the whole process uh, it's been a year and a half now right or uh, almost a year and a half pretty crazy and how it's all morphed you know where i was just talking spitting out my fucking uh, opinions my conspiracy theory shit then i was talking about you know then the crypto shit and eventually you know here talking about mexico and motivation and all this other cool stuff you know um and that's where we're at now and it's uh Look, if you guys ever wonder um, that that uh, that noise when I'm doing my videos at home, and you guys are always wondering who that is, look, it's this guy right here. It's that guy. You see? It's that guy right there. And I think it is. I think it is the same guy. All right. I think that is the same guy. It just swings by my crib, most likely. Because again, you know, I've only been walking what 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, and he's on a bike, so he can, you know, he can cover a little more. But, um, yeah, you know, so the whole rock bottom thing, you know, again, you know, if you guys know a little bit about my story and how I ended up here in Mexico, just in Mexico alone. By the way, I've hit many rock bottoms, you know, but that's the whole point of like even what Gary Vee says, like he loves winning. I mean, he loves losing, not winning. Why? Because when you win too much, you become complacent. When, uh, again, you know what I mean? Not everybody. You know, some people are fucking animals. Look at Tom Brady. Look at Michael Jordan. You name it. But the reality is that that's, that's what really happens to a lot of fucking people. But when you lose a lot, 
I mean, along with the winning, but when you fucking lose a lot and you really take all this shit, oh, serious? <laughs> Fuck. Somebody was watering their plants up there. <laughs> Anyways, you know, and you understand what losing really means, that losing is really just an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to, it's just opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. And you fucking realize that that's what really what losing means. Then it's like, well, you fucking, you know, you, you, you welcome it with open arms. So that's what I ended up doing. That's what I fucking ended up doing. And, uh, and it helped and, and served me tremendously to have that kind of mentality. Why? Because, you know, I, I have led a hard life and I've had a lot of situations which were very hard to get up from where, again, many times over, other people would not have uh, been able to survive that. And I, you know, no problem. You know, I've been able to survive that very easily. And then why? Only because uh, I decided to change my mentality. So, and, um, well, I mean, not, not necessarily change my mentality. I mean, I've always had the same mentality, but in the sense that, like, um, as life got harder, you know, let's say I got, um, you know, the ups and the downs, we all have that, but, like, as, uh, as I would, you know, hit these rock bottoms or have these bad situations every time, I would always hit it head on, and I would end up, you know, leaps and bound leaps and bounds you know above and beyond anything that i ever could have ever wished for and why only because i decided to um you know take that opportunity and use it to learn and use it to grow and use it you know for all the things that i was just saying and then be, and then some and it served me wonderfully because again you know if you guys know anything about how i got here just to come full circle to that thought that i was saying earlier you know i ended up here because you know it was <clears throat> It was two weeks into the month. I was told I had to move out. I, and, and at that point, it was like I had two weeks to find a new place and come up with over $3,000 in order to just find the place. Um, I couldn't find anywhere to live. And so I decided that I was like, you know what? I got to move. And then when I was looking to move, everything was crazy expensive as well. You know, no matter what, meaning moving to another, another state. I was in L.A. at the moment. And... Uh, I literally ended up um, out here because this was the cheapest option for me to survive. And just like we were talking about, just like we were talking about in yesterday's episode, yeah, I, I hope you guys can hear me. Just like I was talking about in yesterday's episode, you know, I came out here not just for financial reasons, but because of uh, quality of life, and that's it. So here, let me let me show you a little bit ahead of uh, what we got here. I think I'm gonna strap you to my head, all right? It's gonna make it easier. As you guys can see, things are getting narrow. It's getting hot. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm like a lot bigger than everybody else out here by a lot. You can see all the, look at all the shit they got here. Alright. So I gotta keep going all the way to 65. It's still a while from here. So we got around 59. So we got a few more blocks. I know this area fairly well. We used to live out that way. And this is more like the center center. As you guys can see. We got people selling shit on the street everywhere. Hopefully you guys can see it's not too bright. Uh, so, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Let's enjoy the sights a little bit. Hopefully it's not too, hopefully you guys can see. I think you guys can see. Hopefully it wasn't too loud when I was speaking because it was extremely loud and I had the camera facing me so I don't know if you guys would have been seen but I guess we'll find out later no use in uh, talking about that now so 
as you guys can see, so it's Thursday afternoon right now. Right now it's Thursday afternoon at 3.30, whatever, 3.15, 3.30. I want to say 3.20, 3.20. And um, this place is fucking amazing. I come here all the fucking time, by the way. I might, I'm, I, I'm thinking about coming through here on the way back for dinner, but I forgot I got food at home, so. But yeah, usually I come there and I just order a lot of fucking meat, take it home and make some fucking tacos and that's it. Easy peasy. So, as you guys can see, there's like a huge um, eclectic uh, variation of people here. All kinds of people. You can see, you can tell who are the locals, who are not the locals. Um, you can tell their background, where they come from, and so on and so forth. If, uh, if you guys are just interested, because a lot of people think that when you come out here, that everybody looks exactly the same, but it's not. It looks, again, like America, man. Literally, it looks like fucking New, New Mexico, or Arizona, or anything like that. Or it's nothing cream up. In fact, it's just better. A better run version. That's all. Let's go, let's do this. So I remember one of the first girls that I was dating, she didn't like coming out here because she thought it was so uh, by, uh, like scary and uh, and dangerous and shit like that. And I would laugh my ass off because it's like, bro, there's nothing dangerous around here. Nothing. Maybe if you come like super late at night, that's the most dangerous thing right here. Or hitting your fucking head with one of these. That's probably the most dangerous shit out here. Honestly, to tell you the truth, bro. Watch where you're going. Up and down. Let me see. So you guys get just tons of stores out here. Tons of so this is like the place to get cheap shit. I, the reason I can't even buy shoes out here because my my feet are too big. I got two big feet. Yeah, my shoe size is really hard to get out here. I, I realized that and noticed that. Hey guys, uh, hey guys, I'm not really quite sure exactly where I stopped recording, but um, I'm gonna strap you back to my head so I can finish the episode um, and we can enjoy the sights together, all right? Hopefully you got to see a little bit of the store. So I think I've shown you guys this area before on a Thursday. This is a Thursday afternoon, Thursday, 3.30 p.m. Look for your 15s, for your quinceañeras. And then the park, you know, where all the food is always at, as you already know. We've been through here many times. Look how cheap things are. Um, let's go through here. You know what? Um, let's go through this way. I think we went through the other way. <laughs> all right, go check this out. So yeah, for the most part, people, you know, they don't hate the camera, you know, it's uh, especially like in parts like this, most people don't shy away, you know, again, make them famous, right? So there's like a little commercial area here. <clears throat> you sell everything. I'm gonna keep my head straight. So yeah, I just picked up a few things, but it's uh, it's funny because like I haven't been to this place in a while and I was just thinking, you know, put on my list certain things that I wanted, but they don't sell here. And I realized, yeah, because I've already been going to like, you know, Walmarts and all these other stores. So 
So yeah, you can see it's already traffic. It's um, we're about to hit rush hour, like for real. Let's uh, cut through here. Look, these are the people waiting for the bus. We're just enjoying the sights right now. That's all we're doing. Just enjoying the sights. I can show you. <coughs> See, the good thing about me being so tall out here is the fact that, like, um, whenever I'm shooting film, like, it's always like I'm on a, I'm a high tripod. So... So I don't know if you guys noticed that guy was selling elotes and um, which is that corn thing that they eat here. Alright, they bust out. They look everybody out here waiting for the bus. Alright, let me so fucking hot. All right, let me see if I'm still recording. All right, we're still recording. Just want to make sure we're recording. Yeah, because we're running out of battery, I think. I think this thing shuts off after like 20 some odd minutes. But yeah, you know, we're just hanging out. This is just a downtown area. This is a centro right here, you know? See, centro, you know, the center of the city. So, you know, just like any other downtown area in any fucking city in the world, it's busy. And there's a lot of people, a lot of action, a lot of everything. And it's rush hour. It's the beginning of rush hour. We're, you know, more traffic coming. You want some candy? Some tourists. You can spot a mile away. You can set up shop, no business license. Alright, actually I gotta cross the street again, I think, right? Oh, not yet, not yet. Oh yeah, it's right here. I gotta buy some soap. Hopefully they got the soap. I'm gonna keep this going, see how long I can keep it going. Alright, let me see. Hey, see, tu buscando un jabón de avena. Eh, oh, mira, yeah. And muchas gracias. Gracias. I'm just trying to play dumb, you know? <laughs> Alright, let me see. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Encontró todo lo que buscaba? Sí. ¿Cuánto todavía? ¿Membresía tiene? No, no. Cuando gusta activar la tienda, ¿cuánto es? ¿Si se encuentra? ¿Le da descuento en toda la tienda? Sí. ¿21 o 50? Ah, perfecto. 20, 22. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, gracias. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Look how beautiful everything is. All right. All right, guys. Well, I got to get going. Um, this last store really doesn't like cameras, so I'm going to end it here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys more than you could ever imagine. I hope today's episode was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, do all that good shit that we all, all you YouTubers always beg you to do. 
and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You already know it. Bye. Later.